So Band Geeks is one of the most iconic SpongeBob episodes that almost didn't happen. Let me explain. So here are three quick behind the scenes stories of making the awesome episode. Okay, so it turns out the iconic Sweet Victory song at the end was basically chosen randomly. The episode was storyboarded by Carl Greenblatt, the guy who eventually went on to create Chowder and Harvey Beaks, and Aaron Springer, who was a legendary animator who's worked on a ton of awesome shows. The story outline for the episode said they had to draw a big musical number at the end. However, no music was selected, but the artist felt like it'd be easier to storyboard the sequence if they had a song to work from. So they decided to dive into Nickelodeon's massive royalty-free music catalog. They scrolled through going through hundreds of different versions of marching band songs, trying to find the perfect one, but nothing was really sticking out. Luckily, they eventually stumbled on Sweet Victory. It was this 80s style song that was the exact opposite of what they were looking for, but it was awesome and it was perfect. So they storyboarded to that song and the rest is history. Speaking of music, during the production, they recorded the song that was so bad they had to throw it out. So you remember that scene in Band Geeks where the marching band is playing while coming down the street? They're supposed to be playing terribly. The music department took that terribly note to the next level and ended up going too far. So instead of hiring musicians, they got these two random employees who worked at the loading dock of a music store, gave them these random instruments, and decided to have them play. The results, of course, as you can imagine, were terrible. They had no rhyme, no rhythm, no tune, nothing. And when you put it all together, it was an assault on your ears. Perfect, right? Well, not quite. When Steven Hillenberg reviewed the music, he thought it was bad, but too bad. They ended up cutting the song and replacing it with a song that was performed by actual professional musicians made to sound bad, but in a good way, if that makes sense. So going back to the beginning, the episode was almost going to be very, very different. The initial idea for the show was to do a rival storyline. They tried to give SpongeBob a rival, but as it developed, they realized it really wasn't working. Instead of throwing it out though, they got the idea to give Squidward a rival, and everything clicked. The iconic episode was born. That's a quick look about how Band Geeks was made. You know, 20 years later, the episode is still being loved by fans, so it's become so popular, they do sing-alongs at Comic-Cons, and even play it at the Super Bowl. Be sure to, su be sure to subscribe for more daily doses of animation inspiration, and check out some more videos. I'll see you in the next one.